hit anyone. everything that's a good place. Good. Glad you like it. Have you hit any oh. uh, Christmas pub crawls yet or anything? We're, we're live now, guys. We're up. <laughs> uh, not, a, not a time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I I did go to the, uh, this is the a swimming thing show, at, obviously. Um, at Mozart's. That was cool. Okay, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Ooh, cool. Mozart's in, in Austin? Mm-hmm. Mm, nice. yeah, yeah. Have you been to Cisco's yet? No, what's that? Oh, dude, come on, man. <laughs> get, get some Cisco's. Cisco's is going to be a sponsor of this podcast one day. <laughs> How many times we've talked about it? It's yeah, this. It uh, it's this old. Uh, it's just this old building. This old. This really, really old building that has a nice little restaurant that's been there for, I don't know, a hundred years or something. Mexican and the food is spot. awesome. And and uh, just when you sit down, you feel like you're part of the, the family. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. This is this is like te- the foundation of Texas swimming. <laughs> this is this is Eddie's right. main website. I mean, made up. Uh, sorry, sorry. I was looking at a website, but um, this is May- Eddie's main <laughs> place to take recruits. Well, don't it's sell there. it to Josh that way. Come on, man. Well, they have the best. Uh, he loves Migos. The Migos there. So, okay. if you like Migos, yeah, we recommend. The story nice. yeah, is. I... Go ahead, Josh. I don't know. I, I was hanging out with Mitch Dalton a while back, and he was telling me about uh, one of Eddie Reese's favorite Mexican spots. That might have been it. Oh yeah, I have hundred percent. What was the other place we went to, Brett? The other Mexican restaurant that Eddie, Eddie took us to? Oh, yeah, that, that Chewy's. Yeah, Chewy's. Chewy's. That's yeah, right, yeah. yeah. That, that's a chain, though. Yeah, we have those here in Florida too. I mean, those are really good. Yeah, yeah that's a. Okay, standard. so what what just happened? I just missed it I on just, the screen yeah. here. So it looks like um, um we got the, yeah, there's six people withdrawing. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, who, who? What were the names? Michael Brenniger. That's Michael Andrew, Ryan White. Oh, dang. Oh, Michael Andrew's got the cocoa? No, they didn't say he has it. They just oh. said he's withdrawing. Okay. Oh, dang. Well, bit of a story. He's had a tough couple days here. Oh, are we straight up here? Is this the men's four by 50? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right off the bat. Oh, dang. We're going. Yeah, mess around. Look at that. The Russians wanted to hold hands, but they refused to hold hand, each other's hand. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> what? It's all happening. Did you uh, see that? No. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm is, 15 the seconds. The Russians are just you. coming out for me. My stream is oh, yeah, yeah. hella behind yours. Brett's on his cable again. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm back in. I'm back in my, I'm back on the pop off truck outside, man. <laughs> Vlad just got dissed. That's what, that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Like they wouldn't Somebody hold his was, hand. Ah, dude. COVID. COVID regulation. Hey, can you guys send me the link <laughs> to the stream? Uh, what do you have, Maxim? Do you have YouTube TV? Uh, no. That's a no. Not, what do, what do you do? You have cable? No, I do not. <laughs> I thought we were gonna like stream the live stream on here. Oh no, Maxim, you might be blind. I am blind. Fl- That's okay. flying blind. It's got to be a live stream, doesn't it, Nate? I mean, there's a live stream, but you got to have a VPN and you got to pick a country in the Oceania oh, true, true, true. area, I think. Do you have a VPN? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm not that. I don't use my computer that much. I just have my brother do the thing and then I play some Valorant here and there and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude, you're flying blind. Um, we're on the blocks. Actually, I'm in the water, but you're on the blocks. And we're off. This is, a, this, is a, this is the fast one. Sprint freestyle racing at its best. Is this uh, Ryan Held going off first? Yeah, he looks yeah. really good this meet. He is, he's he's flying this. right now. Oh, Fair that's a that's a time that could win the 50 freestyle right there. What did wow. he just go? I'm 10 seconds behind. Don't tell me. 20.7. Seven. Oh my. 7. Wow. 72. Mm. Ryan Held. Great. Yeah, he's, he's so moved. powerful. And the U.S. are in the lead here because of that. Great changeover. No. From 25 to 35 meters, held absolutely killed everyone. Crushed him, yeah. They've got a 20.7 again. Whoever went second. That was Shane. This looks like Zach Apple in third. Yep, that's Zappel. He's not at his best here. 
U.S. have been taken over by the Russian Federation. That's Vladislav, Vlad Grinev. Is Kieran going last? Russia, yes. He had the wow. fastest foot this morning. Went 21-2 flat. Did Russia change up their flag again? <laughs> yeah, it is confusing, isn't it? I oh, who's, the, um, who's having a meet here? Oh, the Italians are having a meet. Yeah. Wow. wow that was a great last leg. Oh, wow. That's Moresi. He's been solid all year. He US is solid. out. U.S. didn't even win a medal? Adam, dude. Ooh. Unbelievable. Who's an anchor for Netherlands? They came way back. Tom DeBoer. Tom DeBoer, yeah. Tom DeBoer, maybe? Legit. Tank. Tank. He's a tank, isn't he? Yeah. It's always intimidating to go up next to you in the in the fifty skins at ISL. He's just a big dude. He's gonna he's gonna body you. Wow, that was a, that was some good racing right there. I mean, the U.S. were in in the lead by a lot, and then and they put their uh, fifteen hundred freestyler at the end and got <laughs> swamped. They just ran out of bodies, Ooh. huh? Shane Cassis, 20.6. 20.7. Let's That's see good. Splits. I need to pull these splits here. Twenty points. Yeah, I mean, Kieran had the fastest split from the morning, right? And he was right on that. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad so. for a, not a sprinter, technically. Yeah, they just ran out of bodies. Twenty-one-three at the back end of a relay is just not good enough at this level. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you, that's you have a, three one hundreds difference. Two tenths what? difference between first and fourth. Yeah, Michael Andrews not here anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. he left you. Yeah. Oh, did they actually ship him home? Oh, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. they said he's on his way home. On yeah, based whole, on the uh, opening group. screen of the broadcast, it looked like he he chose to go home. Oh wow! They they stopped feeding him. I think he was complaining about the fact they weren't allowing him to eat breakfast with everybody because he wasn't yeah, vaccinated. I heard that. Really? Oh man! Yeah, he made a vlog that that came out like the day before the start of the meet. And he hadn't, he hadn't like, he's been, you know, pretty MIA, I think, for a while. Yeah. This was his first vlog. And, uh, I mean, he, he says, I mean, you see it happen. Like, he, he's in the restaurant and they're, they're like, you got to get out of here. And, uh, it just never gets resolved. And he's just like leaving with bags of food. Wow. But, um, uh, what was the other thing he said? Oh, uh, he said he, he has not raced a single time since Tokyo. So, uh huh. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, I don't know what he's been doing, you know, training. He's, he didn't swim for his swim team in the International Swimming League, mm. you know. Well, he wasn't so, redraft. He they uh, he wasn't drafted this year because he <coughs> intentionally withdrawed. Mm. Um, <coughs> Maxine, how how close were you to swimming at this meet? Well, um, again, <coughs> this meet was selected on summer results and i had a really bad summer so um i didn't even make the national team this year because i was uh pretty poor performances at olympic trials and then a couple weeks later i went faster than i was at olympic trials but i was just cooked by then so i just decided to take the break and uh, <laughs> put my put my eggs into the isl basket but mm. looking at the results I mean, you were solid there dude thank you yeah i was happy with the consistency there but again like it's uh if, if they're going to make this meet um, like a pretty big, important meet, I think, again, it has to go to a, a qualifying, the selection meet, just because yeah, really yeah. you look at like Justin Ress, who went a 45-7 at the, the meet before the finals. And like we put that on our uh, four free relay with held. And I think they move, they drop like a second and that puts them into metal position. Um, mm. And obviously he'd be in that four by 50 relay um so there's just a lot of i mean that's on the that's just on the men's side so there are just a lot of moving pieces and i mean at the same time uh i think you have to decide um you have to have a selection meet just to see like okay well who's gonna want to go who's gonna prioritize different things especially as a professional now like okay you have the isl the way and uh if this is a money opportunity meet for the right. pros and it's like well you, you gotta weigh it and that's what i think like um, I know my teammates uh, on LA, Will and Ryan, they weighed that and they they did well here. Um, I think Will got yeah, Will bronze third, yeah, in the two breasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was right on, right on his best. And then uh, Ryan 
uh, in, in season at the ISL, like the Naples stint, he was like 47, maybe at best in the hundred free. And he'd popped to 45, seven lead off with a 20.7, 20.8, 50 free, which is better than what he was in Naples. So, I mean, we just see that that's like the type of improvement and that's the type, those are the types of games you want to play as a pro is like, are you going to be more consistent or are you going to be water here? Sorry to cut you off, Maxine. Oh, you're good. Let's get it. Yeah. 50 fly. Women's stories of vets. Renomi versus Sarah. Plus yeah. a couple youngsters. Oh, wow. Yeah. He doesn't even need a stream. He doesn't need to watch. <laughs> you, you you just talked about the top oh, three yeah. without even looking at the stream. Good for you. Yeah. You called it, man. Lane wow. seven. Come on, Tori. Then. I mean, Claire. That's yeah, Claire. Kazan. Claire Kazan. I mean, she's Future on. Future Stanford swimmer. Oh, and world, world junior, junior record, record there. Renomi, huh? Swim. Just off that world record, too. Six 100s. Dang, Renomi. Oh, wow. Well, how much uh, was Sarah behind on that? Uh, it's like two seven. tenths. Tenth. Seven hundred. It, 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 it uh, looked whoa. like Renomi. Renomi got pretty, uh, uh, won that pretty good. She, oh yeah, she knows. She just missed that world record too. Oh, that that overhead view of the turn was crazy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the camera angles they're pulling at this one. And yeah, uh, Renomi had that like Chad Leclerc style turn where like the hips stay super high right. on the surface, so she just got such a better push off. <clears throat> right we i actually talked to the to tom shields about that on my instagram he, he gave me a little breakdown of his turn his his killer turns and um that that one kind of went viral a little bit because it was right before the whole incident with um with uh lily king oh yeah hmm. what was like the the inside scoop on that one maxine what were what was the vibe um, on deck on deck, uh, it was very interesting because right when Energy Standard accepted the award, uh, I mean, I heard a couple comments around the deck saying uh, we all know who the real winner was because uh, the, obviously you swing that DQ and Cali Condors is up. Um, what was it like it was like a thirty? Po it was like a, at least like a thirty forty it's point huge. swing that yeah, changes yeah, yeah. to me, right? <laughs> um, but again, I think they're, I mean, they're they're pretty good sports about it. Um, honestly. It was like really hard to tell. Um, if you look very closely at the DQ, I think it could be a DQ, but even then it's like you had to slow it down significantly. So it's just hard. I mean, especially we don't have that angle. Um, we only have the camera angles that we have. So like the, the lady that was on, uh, on site on top of her watching that turn. I mean, you kind of have to give her like, wow. Okay. She had to have seen something that made her be like, no, nah, I'm pulling the plug. I'm, I'm calling this. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah but weird. But Josh and Josh and Maxime, you guys have been part of some epic battles on the NCAA front. There must have been a time at some point where a Cal had a DQ that you know you was questionable, or Texas had had a DQ. Come on, like there must have been something, right? I mean, I uh, based so uh, <clears throat> my NCAA's got canceled in 2020 when I was representing Texas, but in uh, when I was representing Florida in 2019, mm. I know that the what was it the um, Daniel Carr, 100 back DQ was, <laughs> it was right. a, it was a tide turning event because right. he obviously bumped into that A, it was like a final move and uh, that swung their momentum and they just kept rolling, like rolling wow. bears, like from that. So, um, were you on that team, Josh? No, no, I was uh, way too old for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that was, yeah, it was like, but that's a moment, right? Ago. That's, that's a yeah, moment. That one was crazy. That, that was big. Yeah. Um, all right, let's 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 predict an event here. We have got the the men's hundred IM final. Let's let's go around the room. Jared, what are you thinking here? Um, shoot, let me pull up the. What is the start list there? I forget who's in the, the middle. All I right, think, uh, Josh, what are you yeah. thinking? I'll let you look at it. Really hard to bet against Kolesnikov, but mm. I'm going with my boy Tomo. Tomo, He's yeah. good. <laughs> right, right. Maxima, I guess you're saying the same thing. Um, actually, I it's I I would love for Tomo to win, but I think it's gonna be Daya just because he's got a little bit of momentum. Uh, two IM victory. He's got. Oh, was he? Did he win the two fly too? No, that was Rossetti, right? No, no, yeah, mm -hmm. um, Italian guy. But I'm gonna. This is gonna be a little different. I think my underdog here is Marco or C Lane Eight. 
Um, Good dark horse yeah. pick right there. Maka Olsi, yeah. wow, out of left field. Yeah. He's okay. good Italian record really board, good. Right? Yeah, he's really good <clears throat> this year in the 100 IM in the, during the ISL season. He would get jackpots, like, usually five through eight all the time. Mm. Um, and just I think he's got it, like, the, just the strength to do it. So, and I think he'll be pretty fresh because they took him off that relay. There you go, Jared. Who are you thinking now? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards Dyer. I just think, like you said, he's got that momentum coming through from the 200 IM. He kind of steps up at you know in the big stage to put his hand on the wall too. So I mean it's gonna be close. This this for me was my biggest closest race, I think, that I saw coming in, this one and the next one. But I think Dyer's got that outside chance, yeah. Nate, what are you thinking? Clemmy, dude. Has uh has Kalashnikov won a world title yet? At this meet? Uh, ever. Has he ever won one? Oh yeah. Tons. Didn't he win the hundred IM at uh eighteen? Oh he did? Yeah. Or did okay. Marco? I think he won oh, that's in, right. he won... I do remember that, yeah. I think Clement won in 18. Michael Andrew won in 16. In 16. Or, yeah. 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 He won. Uh, All right. So what? Kalashnikov is a defending champion. Is that what we're saying? Yes, that is correct. I think so. He yeah. is the defending champion from Hanjo in 2018. All right. We're off the blocks. We're going. We're he, in the water. He won, a, he, won, he won a bunch of medals at that meet. That was his only he individual gold. Oh, oh, look at this. Lane eight. Lane eight smoker. We're talking. We're talking That's Marco. 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 That's your Marco. Yeah. Marco yeah. Orsi. You're right. He's out smoking. Okay. Wow. Oh, the backstroke, though. This is where we get some separation here. Kalashnikov. Kalashnikov. Horsey, the old man strength, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a good race. I mean, it's a blanket. Horsey, you're right. Look at the look at the lane eight smoke. Dang. We're gonna have to clip this. If he wins this, we're gonna have to clip this. Seto's moving up too. Oh three. no! Oh, the freestylers are coming in. Here comes the freestylers. Oh wow! Oh, mm. beautiful, beautiful. Oh, get there in there. Go. Get in there. Oh yes. The other Italian. <laughs> Kalishnikov for the win. Ooh. Boom. Hey. Tomo, second place, dude. That's a great swim. Let's yeah. go. That's awesome. Who ended up getting the bronze? Uh, the other Italian guy, Chacon. Oh. Thomas Chacon. <clears throat> dude, the Italians are having a meet. They've huh? been having a year, yeah. dude. Not even a meet. Every everywhere they go, they're killing it. Matteo Revolta just won the hundred fly. He won yep. ISL yeah. skins. Um, wow. lots of Italians. The girl just won what the the two, what did she just win? She won the hundred IM, didn't she? Uh, some no, the hundred IM is next. Hundred IM next, yeah. Wow, Italians, huh? They're hot right now. <clears throat> Although Kalashnikov back to back, fifty one zero. Aussie, Aussie died. He was he was there he, at the seventy five. Be pretty exciting because he's uh, so good at the freestyle on the hundred IM. Yeah. yeah. He also has a 50 back final later, so see if he can swing that double well. That's true. Yeah. Uh, you know you know much about him, Maxime? I actually got to know him a bit more during this part of the ISL stint. And, uh, dude, he's – he's uh, sometimes he, – like, when I first saw him last year, I was kind of intimidated because he's, like – obviously, sometimes the Russian guys, like, they put off this, like, I'm really tough vibe. But I, I got to talking with him a little bit, and he's a little bit of a goofball. So mm. it was pretty cool. Like we would just talk and then he's like, uh, asked me what we're swimming and stuff. And we're like, I had this tuner back once and we're joking around. Like, what do you have to, what are we, what are we going? But ultimately, like, I think we both got jackpotted by Murph. So like, it didn't matter. It was pretty, it was like, <laughs> this is a pretty easy, he's a pretty funny guy. So it's good to be around him and I'm happy to see him doing well. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's a bit of a joker on the deck. I've heard. Yeah, he is. My first couple Sweet. impressions of him, were seeing him at meets and he would show up with like four different colors of just like full Adidas track shoes, <laughs> like, like velvet yep. tops and pants. It's like, how many of these you got? Man? <laughs> Classic. Classic. Josh, you've been out of the water for a little while now. You miss it? Any itching to get back? Uh, I mean, honestly, like less and less, the more, the more I started liking what I do for work. Wow. Um, yeah, though I'm not gonna lie, like you, you get the itch when you start watching competitions like these. It's, um, I mean, that was like a really special thing to be a part of. 
it was fun. Yeah. 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 If I really wanted to do ISL again, I would have to like seriously train for at least a year before being ready. Like, oh, really? Oh, come on. Not a year. year. I think you're you're, uh, underestimating the power of uh, all that. The power of Josh already. Yeah, that's (laughs) I mean, you've been so maybe maybe like 2023. We'll test this theory. Yeah. Three months, baby. Three months. Josh, do you say Prino or Prino? Doesn't really matter. Either is fine. Okay. Well, I've heard both. So I just wanted to know what you said. What did your mom and dad say? I guess Prino. Prino. What is it? Where does it come from? French? Yeah. French. Yeah. Most of my family is Italian, but got the French last name. Oh, the Italians, see? They're everywhere. <laughs> it's popping up everywhere. <laughs> Italians, man. Speaking of Italians, we got one in this one too. Another one. Coca, 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 I don't know. I screwed that one up. She's good though. Rosetti medals and everything from the four I am to the two fly all the way down to the 50 free. Yeah. He's, he's very sure. versatile. I admit that's what, like, I think the star of the Toronto Titans is definitely Alberto Rosetti or Max Litchfield. They were mm. swimming almost like they could be placed anywhere in the ISL event lineup and they would do it really well. Max is a beast. He's so consistent. Yeah, he was, he was awesome. And, like, especially the last meet where they were under, like, I'm going to say, like, I'm going to say understaffed, where they only had, like, I think eight mm-hmm. or nine men. They just put those two in almost, like, every other event, and they did, they just raced hard. So they're, they're tough guys. All right, this one could be the toughest race to call here. Let's go around the room again. Uh, Jared, what are you thinking here on this 100 IM? This um, is close. This is real close. Yeah, this is – where is this thing? You got it there, Nate? We can pull it up. it up. Okay. I mean, I'm liking the Israeli girl, Gobenko. Mm-hmm. I just, she, I watched her uh, semifinal swim this morning. And, I mean, she just looked fantastic the whole race. You know, like some of these girls have a good first half, but no, she has a good, the whole race is good for mm-hmm. her. Right. Uh, you guys have some inside here. She's a teammate of yours, Maxime, right? Yeah, I would say so. She won. She got. She she won the fifty breasts. Um, well rounded, four strokes. She's got quick transitions. And again, this is such a tight a seven tenths between the whole field. So it's it's gonna be really yeah. hard to tell. Yeah. But if I had to guess, just by trusting like her abilities, I would put my bet on Nastia for sure. Mm. Okay, Josh, what are you thinking? You're a, you're an Iama. Yeah, no disagreement here. Nastia, four really solid strokes, good details. She just looks better and better every year. And she seems to produce in finals too. Like she can pop a good final mm-hmm. swim, you know. Like she can drop four or five tenths easy. She's um, clutch every time I said I sat with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got a win now. She's got a taste of winning. Maybe she wants it more of it. This is definitely a tight field though. Um, Beryl's in there too, hey? Beryl's back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she had a decent semifinal swim, but just I think she faded towards the end. Mm. A good first first fifty. All right, so we're all putting we're all putting money on the Israeli here, Nastia Gorbenka. Come on, let's go. Uh, I'm trying to see who won. I want to see who won the I, ISL final on that because I was wondering if Maria Ogulkova, um, she Swedish had to have been up there. Yeah. The Swedish, yeah. Racing, um, I think it might. I think you know. Vita, Vita Nelson might have won that. Actually, yeah, I th- you're right. I thought it was Sostrom. Oh yeah, maybe um, it was Sostrom actually second really quick all right we're in the water we're in the water who's out in lane two she's moving that's barrel barrel barrel's yeah, moving fast starter got to, yeah. got two perfect good strokes right there Golbenka is right there she's the 50 breast champion she's in the breaststroke leg come on girl pick it up Golbenka. this could be this could be Golbenka. we could be on a winner here guys Oh wow! I think I think we are. I think we're on a winner. Golbenko looks good. She looks good. Oh, oh, dang! Look at that. She swims so tall. All of her strokes. <clears throat> yeah, she doesn't rush it, does she? Man, she came off that freestyle wall. What did What did we just say? Hey, she drops times in Go finals. Ahead, Look at that! Look at the Damn. time. 
Yeah, Barrel came through. That's her second title. That's her Dang. second title. Yeah, Barrel with a good freestyle there. Yeah. Yeah, she finished that. She she raced that one, Barrel. But um, Kolbenka, too good, too strong. You're right. She didn't have a she didn't have a bad leg, did she? All the transitions, like Josh said, were on point. Yeah, that's awesome for her, man. She's killing it. Great long finish. I love that finish. The photo finish. The oh yeah, little tongue at the end. Okay, good. She <laughs> loves it. All right. That's yeah. that's the best time. That's the best time for both of them because I'm pretty sure Barrel mm. and Ostia were consistent 58s all ISL season. Yeah. So. Couple of former teammates there. One, two. Oh wow. Okay. And this Israeli, she's 18. She just turned 18. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Dude, dude, we had her on the podcast uh, a couple of weeks ago. ago, a month ago, just predicting kind of this. I mean, you know, you guys know as as her teammates, uh, Josh and uh, Maxime, like you see the talent. It's just a matter of time, right? Oh yeah. I mean, she For holds sure. water really well. She's strong. She doesn't have a weak stroke. And especially like all of her racing in the ISL, I think it just gives her confidence like, okay, I can do these repeat meets, get yeah. better each time. Cause she did all the meets in Naples to the Eindhoven. So in between the finals and here, you had like what she had 12, 12 days. So it's just a little bit of refinement and get back in it. Yeah. Man, she's tall. She's lanky. She just she's technically said, sound. She said what? She just said, "I'm just here to like you know have fun, race my friends, and do my best." Oh, win titles. That's what she's here to do. No, she's laughing and smiling. Well, awesome. All right, what's up next? N50 fly. No, we got a yeah. victory ceremony. <clears throat> the men's yeah. four by fifty freestyle. Victory ceremony. Got a little break here. Okay. Gorbanka for the win. Good for her. All right. That's good stuff. Yeah, so for that ceremony, it's Italy won, Russia second, and then the Netherlands, Netherlands got third. That's great. I didn't look how closely that was. Like, again, 123.61. For first, one twenty three seventy five for second, one twenty three seventy eight for third, and mm. we were four. The, I'm gonna say you that we the U S was fourth, one twenty three eighty one. Dang, that was close. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean that last leg for the Netherlands is what really pulled them through. That twenty point four, Tom De Boer. Yeah. So like that fifty three final is gonna be nuts if they can perform like that again. Yeah, I gotta tell you guys when when. When I'm looking for a photo finish, when I'm looking for someone to get the hand on their wall, I'm not putting a 500 freestyler at the end. I'm just, not, <laughs> you know, I'm not. I'm putting, I'm putting him third. Bury him third. Put him in there. Just he's not, you're not the man to get his hand on the wall in a photo finish. Uh, yeah, I couldn't I'm agree with him more. Surprised, like they yeah. didn't switch. Like they should have put Zappel on the anchor leg. Yeah, yeah that that would have been that sprint, He has mm -hmm. the twitch. Not that mm -hmm. Kieran doesn't have the twitch, but it's like. You're a 200, 500 guy, and Zappel's got the switch. So, don't well, you, you want to get out ahead of the chop, though? It, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's part of yeah. it, right? But I mean, also, I mean, they're probably kicking out 15, so it's like by then the wash is like it could be died down. At the same what time, I'm I saying, what I'm saying here is finishing is a skill. We all know that finishing is a yeah. skill, and for sure, and yeah. and, and finishing at full speed. Is a skill, and uh, you just put a sprinter in there who who knows how to finish. That's it. Yeah, we saw this issue in the uh, the twenty twelve Olympics for sure. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do we talk about the brushstroke stuff already, or did, was that that was off air, wasn't it? Yeah, that was that off was air. Okay. Yeah, we can well, talk we got, about that. We got, we got like we got ten minutes. We got we got a couple of brushstrokers here. Let's talk some brushstroke then. What's going on? 14 oh, going disqualifications. <laughs> 14 disqualifications. How many today? Oh, shoot. There was more today. Oh. Well, there I was, mean, I think, three this morning in the women's 100 breast uh, prelims. I see. Um, 
I don't think it was anyone super big. It was just the finish goal. Ida, she got disqualified. I don't know what for. Hmm. Um, but like, oh, we were talking about this the other day with the top people that were disqualified in a final, semi-final, all from the same lane. Um, and, and like Josh, you mentioned, they might be using the underwater cameras, which I think, I agree with you. I think it's good. Like it really levels it out. And he's like, hey, listen, guys, we know that there's this going on, but we're leveling it out. So everyone needs to do be doing the same thing, right? You got to be, you got to be more specific about how you're training this, how you're doing it and just be, it's more fair, right? It's, it's kind of like, if you can't hide it, sorry for you, you're not going to be able to race. And I think we're seeing like, I'm not saying everyone at that top level does it, but it's like, well, how much are they getting away with to be that good and that fast compared to everyone else, right? And off the turns and the wash and this and the uh, the splashes, it's hard to see, but like we gotta we gotta fix that, you know. Yeah. 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 I mean, several USA breaststrokers have been calling for for yeah. making DQs with underwater cameras for for years now. So it's I think it's good to see. Um like do we know like what these DQs were called for? Like like what the actual violation was? What is it all the same thing or like various? So, so Swim Swam actually caught up with um, Carol Zaleski, who's FINA's, what is her official title? FINA Technical Swim Committee Chair, Carol Zaleski. Yeah, yeah. And this is what she said. Uh, if a call is made from the deck, it's reviewed by the underwater video and either confirmed or overturned, and that's communicated mm. to the deck referee. In the case of calls made with the underwater video, a call is made in real time. It does not get slowed down or reviewed. And then a second referee comes in to review that call, just as someone would review a deck call. Mm. And after mm. the review, that's communicated to the deck referee for acceptance. Um, if anything, it benefits the athletes by giving them a double review. There's no disqualification that hasn't been reviewed at least twice, either from the deck or the video. So it's, in my opinion, a very positive thing. Um, I've had a lot of positive reactions to it from coaches. Uh, the vast number of calls in the first day were for a downward dolphin or butterfly kick prior to the touch or the finish. Um, and she said, yeah, this is the first sure. time it was ever used at a short course meet. So they expected a, uh, a lot hit done of, uh, disqualifications. Was it communicated to the athletes beforehand that they were doing this? That's a good question. I don't know. The okay. thing I mean, was like, because I hope it was, because you're going to swim breaststroke a very different way if you know there's yeah. an underwater camera watching your turns. You're going to make sure you're, you're, you're full on all your turns. You're not going to come up short. You're not going to do anything funky at the end of your kick. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, they have a technical meeting be, be, before each major championship. Then each yeah. team would have a representative go to that technical meeting, and then you come back and you inform your team, mm -hmm. hey, this is what they talked about. So I would imagine, especially with the major teams, like uh, Russia, US, you know, any, any big players that they had, um, you know, prior knowledge that this was going to happen. But it's interesting, you know, that they're only making the call on the underwater based on a call that happens on the deck, you know. So somebody visually sees something, they go to the underwater camera and they confirm it. So that's, that's interesting that there's been so many calls that have been double confirmed, right? Sounds like I guess. It. I mean, the vibe I got from from um, like Carol's statement was that they're um, they're calling it with the underwater camera. Like, even if you don't see something on tech, and then they confirm that, right? Uh, That's kind of how I understood it. Really? No, I didn't. I didn't take it that way. Yeah, the way I no. heard it is like they call it on deck, and then they go review it with the with the camera. That was the first instance, right? Like, if they see something, right from the, the lady who's standing on the on the lane and then the second part i agree with josh like I, there was something in there that it's almost like they used the camera and then confirmed it by reviewing the camera footage like if they did see something at full speed they don't slow it yeah. down either yeah yeah okay the so they only I slow wanted... it down with the with the original call but if it's not an original call they're just filming at full speed i just want them to like why not just show the underwater footage right yeah like that's the biggest thing to me just you have it we have this entire grid of underwater cameras spanning the entire pool just just show it to us you know well i think the um argument on that oh a little backstage pass here okay um the argument on that is like then everybody becomes an official and and everyone's yeah, got I an guess, opinion yeah. you know instead of like just letting the officials do their job like look we're yeah, experts but 
Yeah, but like if if someone holds somebody in football and it doesn't get caught on a play, it's not like I'm sitting at home crying. Well, maybe I am actually. I'm like, uh, you know, throwing some shit. But, you know, what? I mean, that's that's part. I, well, I think I they've know. done, at least they've done like when it comes to rugby and like soccer and sports like that, they use the video review as a review, right? So so you still have your officials calling it. You have You have the technology access. Your officials are in there. So like, for example, there would be a, a goal scored in soccer recently and then they review an offside call and they review a whole bunch of stuff before they actually accept that it's a goal. And I think maybe yeah. that's where we're going with this. And I, I like that idea because the results aren't official until it's official <laughs> and they, I, they have a, a definite call. I want Carol Zaleski in front of a camera with the underwater footage showing and I want her to explain to the audience why the world champion and the world record holder got disqualified like the next like two yeah. like five minutes later like no yeah. more than five minutes not, not the next day you know it took them not very long to disqualify her right after that race i mean we watched and we're like wait a second you know it, it wasn't even five minutes mm. well what I'm, I'm saying is like yeah when we watch professional football when you watch the nfl if, if, they, if there's a review, right, they bring in the suited up official that knows all the rules that's sitting at home waiting to go live on camera to talk about the rules and what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're watching swimming and there's a disqualification of the best person ever to swim. I'd like to know why and I want to see it. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You know? All right, here we go. Who's this guy? He's Back to the swimming. Freaking huge. <laughs> Pekarski from Belarus. That, that guy's been eating his spinach. Yeah, the story here is Nick Santos, man. Yeah, 41 oh, years boy. old. Yeah. Huh? He's Josh incredible. on this. I like him. What'd you say, Josh? Uh, Santos is incredible. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You, you're talking you need you need 12 months, man. Three months. <laughs> Three months for Pernod. Get him back here. This guy's 41, dude. Look at him. It's ripped to shreds. Yeah, how is he like the most explosive guy off the blocks at 41, you said? Yeah. He said well, he takes well, lots he, of naps. Well, he's he's all he's always been explosive, so that's one thing. You know, you either got it or you don't. Um, first of all. Uh I, I was lucky enough to coach Nick for a season, uh the twenty ten uh Pam Packs in Irvine. I think it was mm -hmm. Irvine, California mm -hmm. somewhere, Irvine, but um I coached him there. And uh great kid, man. Just uh does whatever you tell him to do. But uh here we go. We're on the blocks. All right, Noah Ponty's in here. Oh no, no, this guy shows the up Netherlands again. is in here. We got Thomas some noise phone again. Got a stand down. I haven't seen a stand down before. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, I like little this. Little tension in the oh. arena. I like this a lot. The big boy. Remember when you used to get you used to get a two disc, two uh, fall starts. Yeah, how fun was that? That was nuts. Terrible. All right, summer we're racing league, summer league every time. <laughs> what lane is Santos in? Who is that? He's in six. Oh, he bottom. is. He's crushing people. <laughs> oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! This isn't even a race. Jeez! Dang! Wow. Wow. Don't look back now. Oh, Santos. Man, he just pulled that out. Come on. Get, wow. Get this is just semis. Maxime, you uh you race a good 50 fly. What's the secret to a, a fast 50 fly? Um, well, for me, try not to think. Because <laughs> I think if you think too much in a fifty, then you're 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 out of the race. But one of the things I noticed, um, actually, when uh, Tom and I were, where we were actually checking out Nicholas uh, Nicholas's fifty from mm -hmm. the Naples stint to the uh, to the Eindhoven, because um, he was like consistent twenty one eight to twenty one twenty two two twenty two one like all season pretty much. Like, right. I, we know that he was trying to go for those world records, but it's like, what is he doing? Um, he has a very interesting stroke where it's it's uh, he's like five down, six back. Obviously, really dynamic start, great underwaters. But the five count, six count strokes, he's grabbing like a tremendous amount of water. And mm. uh, he does this really funky thing with his head where it stays in line. But because yeah. he's got such a powerful upper body, it um, it looks like he's like 
going with it. Um, mm. And, I mean, you'll see – I think uh, Tom tried to mimic that. And, I mean, he got the American record at one of the uh, what's it, the World Cup meets and then super consistent all season for us. Um, but very strong dude, gets off the blocks, holds the lead, doesn't lose any speed. And I think he just pushed off that – off that turn really hard. And then going back to what you said about Tom's Tom Shields is a uh, turn as, as we mentioned, getting that hand up high and pushing off, mm-hmm. um, bringing, tucking the knees in the chest. And I mean, just doing all the basic age group things that we know how to do is it's how do you get in the ball? It's how do you get off? So. Yeah. <clears throat> Tom actually came on and was talking about taking that extra stroke when he went 21, nine, a couple of times and broke the American record. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because he's just I mean, finishing uh, the lap like on the end of that stroke. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, and the turn. Yeah, just refining every little that you know. Here he is. There he is, walking out. Beefy T. Beefy T. Yeah. Mateo Revolta's in this heat, and uh, the top seed Trinidad and Dylan Tobago. Carter. Dylan yeah. Carter. He's top seed. Yeah, dude. yeah. Uh, he won the best he's time. Been- he got. He, he got ninth. Unfortunately, in the hundred fly, but I think he went a best time of forty nine eight, and he went a best time I think in the fifty backstroke a couple of days ago. I think Sabo, Sabo is one of the people you must watch here too. Yeah, him and Tom duking it out all like World Cup meets. It's gonna be he's gonna be solid. Sabo tied the world record, right? Yep. Did he? Hmm. Yep. They're only giving credit to Nick Santos then. No credit here on the on the cheat sheet. On uh, like the Omega like lane assignments, it says uh, it, it was updated, and he set that a month or like a month and a half ago, November sixth mm-hmm. in the Kazan meet. So twenty one seventy five. Dylan, Josh, have you had any conversations with uh, Tom lately? No, not a ton. I was just like hitting him up saying. Good job at ISL. He's been so consistent this year. I mean, he was dropping 48s in like the regular season. Yeah. Yeah. He the just seems a little off at record. this one, though. Uh, is there any inside info on why he's slightly off here? Did anyone know? No, I got no idea. A lot of racing. No idea. Well, I was going to say, he's been doing a lot of racing. Yeah. This is his, like, he was talking about it going into finals. Uh, he was like on his like 70th plus in the span of like, end of august to now so it's a lot <laughs> yeah, it's of just racing a lot. in that time and on top of it like he's in hotels he's not he's back to back to back moving around so just i'd say inconsistent training schedule inconsistent sleep schedule so. all right we're racing here we go dylan carter does look good his skills of he looks sharp yeah Oh, Dylan Carter, all day long. Ooh, long oh, long finish. Got that side kick. Yeah, a little side kick there. Oh, Shields, hmm. Shields, Shields may have crept in here. Maybe. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. He was looking good at the Saba Saba for the win. Shields Dylan Carter doing it. the Misty Hyman fish kick. What's going yeah. on? I thought they uh, made that illegal. You can get a sidekick. You just can't get back yeah, outside. Back, yeah. So Tom snuck in. One. That's going to be a good final. Tom got it? Yeah, Tom, Tom, Tom got it. In. In. Nice. Tom's in. Good for him. Look at that. Go. Two world record holders seated 1-2 going into tomorrow's final. That's going to be sweet. Oh, yeah. That's a good That's a good matchup right there yeah, tomorrow. That's... Oh, Tom qualified fifth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a yeah, fast semi. That was crazy. Yeah, that was a quick semi, yeah. Hell yeah. That's the other reason why it made uh, Nick Santos look like he was absolutely, absolutely destroying the field. Oh, yeah. He, he, he was so much slower than himself. Mm. Maxime, you ever do the uh, the side dolphin kick like that? No. I, I don't. feel less powerful on that. Yeah. It, it would just seem weird. <laughs> Seemed really weird, dude. Bob Gillette, he was so he was all about it, man. So all about it. There's like, like, are you completely like this, or like you yeah. like this? You're completely on your side. Yeah, Dylan was completely you, on the side. You want the water to to be hitting and be you want you want to be kicking into water and kicking into water. Yeah, it creates these sense. vortices 
So he said, he said that he also did it with like food coloring or dye with Misty. And he would be testing, you know, putting it in the pool to see like where the swirls were going. Oh, wow. wow. He went full scientific on us, did he? That's awesome. I think it was, um, he read an article in Scientific America in the 1980s about how a fish kicks. Oh, okay. Wow. And literally took everything that they had in scientific this Scientific America uh, article, and he just like put it into all the kicking for Misty Hyman. And one of the biggest things was kicking on her side because it they it was it's better. <laughs> that's, ja- that's Jared. Um, Jared, you got someone in the kitchen right now? No. Oh, who's that's not that's not me. Who is that? I mean, maybe Josh. Oh yeah, maybe I'll, I'll mute. No, that's right. That's right. I just I heard someone making breakfast. Thanks, Simon Jones. Did you guys oh, see this? Interesting. Oh, nice. Sixty-five low chocolate chip. Mm. That's not bad at all. That's pretty good for just coming back. Yeah. I thought she um, I thought she like retired. I thought she was done. She's back. So welcome back, Ruta. She is back. Okay. There we go. I mean, See? One of five. All the signs lead to Josh Pernell. Come back. <laughs> 90 days. All he needs is 90 days. I'm telling you, by the end of this program, Josh is making a comeback. <laughs> I'm going to get him back. He's in a great place to train. I know I know a couple of people who uh, who swim in Austin. You can get you hooked up <laughs> with a good program. There, there are a couple. <laughs> Austin, well, how, how's your impressions of Austin, Josh? How are you liking it? It's good, man. Austin's a great place. Um, I mean, moving from the Bay Area, I feel like a lot of people were trying to tell me, like, oh, yeah, Austin's, like, super similar to the Bay. Uh, it's not. It's not at all. <laughs> Austin's Austin's still a great place. They're just not alike in very many ways. Um, but tons of stuff to do here. I mean, me and Tiffany already had a pretty solid friend group here before moving halfway across the country, so that made it pretty easy. Um, it was good, man. Good, good food, good people, good environment. Um, Tiffany, former swimmer as well, and, and uh, high level swimmer. Josh, high level swimmer. What about the, the the kids, man? Any any plans for children? Oh, they'll they'll be elite, be elite athletes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, man. I mean, I mean, when I when I have kids, they will at very least be water safe. But we'll we'll see what kind of sports they want to get into. Right. Yeah couple of uh, I, the only reason why i bring it up a couple of my um, roommates um their kids just swam at the junior championships and um one of my former teammates um nick shackle and ali shackle they were actually teammates of mine on the auburn team their daughter is she just turned she literally just turned uh 15 like she was yeah just turned 15 two weeks ago she went 51 one in the 100 butterfly wow whoa that's good Crazy, yeah, dude. just nasty. And then um, I have some other teammates um, who the, I think their daughter was 13. She went like 52-2 in the 100 fly. So it's like. Some of those uh, genetics just work, man. Like Nate Biondi, NCAA champion. Yeah. Right, right. Is he a senior this year? Um, No, I think he's done. I think he was a senior last year. Like he oh. could have done the extra COVID year. <laughs> But is, is, I wonder if he's done swimming or is, is he I continuing? Think, he's I done? think so. No, I uh, think he's working. Oh, he's working. Okay. Hmm. I think uh, a bunch of people stick around at, at Texas for the extra COVID year. I know like you can, you can technically do like five or six years now. Yeah. So, okay. Um, the only case I've heard for six years is Grant House. And that's because he took the, like he took a, a regular red shirt. Then he took an Olympic red shirt. Then he had the COVID year. So he'll be swimming this mm. year and next year yeah. um but for our team right now i think it's all i've heard is alvin taking the fifth year and that's because he's still in school so he's still here and then i think our diver jordan wendell um he i think he's taking the fifth year as well i'm not sure that i think that's it um yeah those are, of, those are two pretty other impactful things. ones though oh yeah for sure i mean alvin's a huge relay asset obviously jordan's like gonna perform um but it'll be 
I think this year's NCAA is going to be pretty exciting. Uh, I don't think the Minnesota invite of the Cal versus Texas matchup was indicative of how exciting it's going to be because uh, I've heard like how many people came like Sean came back, Daniel came back, Bryce came back, and I mean those are three huge swimmers. So um, it's going to be it's going to be tight. Yeah, we could have a legitimate. Um kind of debate here on an argument of why Cal wins on Josh's side and why um, Texas wins on Maxime's side. We could have a little debate, you know, like... Bro, I followed the Minnesota invite results. That's not going to be my argument. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. That's, I, I mean, mean, that's the thing. I I was talking with Murph at, like, the ISL meets, and he's like, yeah, Durden doesn't like resting them for Minnesota because they know Texas is rested a little bit, and he wants, like, them to get in gear so that they have like a kick-ass training camp mm. when they go to OTC and then they're like all eyes forward till Pac-12s and NCs. So it's going to come down to the meet day again. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's not- I don't know. There's like so much weird, like kind of mind games that go on and I don't really know why. Yeah. Like <laughs> at this point, you know, if you're on Cal or Texas that your opponents are pretty fast swimmers, right? Like it shouldn't really <laughs> yeah. psych you out if fast swimmers swim fast mid-season. Right. I mean, right. right. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's going to be another epic battle for sure. But then, you know, uh, Jared, as you know, we throw in uh, the likes of Matt Sates coming into college now. Uh, that's a Wait, really? massive pickup for Georgia. <laughs> yeah, we, we, had, Ooh, a, no we had a big confirmation yeah. on, our, on what, what was it, on Friday morning? Yeah, he came, he came on the show. and just said, yeah, he's going to be there in January, barring <laughs> any sort of stupid COVID travel stuff that south africa Wait, so he's swimming through. at this year's ncaas yep for georgia NCAA, yep, yep. Oh, oh no way that's sick yeah, he's a game yeah. changer too i mean, I mean i'm he's not it's it's not like he's uh gonna put them in the mix with with texas and cal i wouldn't imagine but in terms of just shaking up the whole ncaa what what a swimmer that kid is i mean yeah, i think I mean, that's gonna sec asset too that's gonna make a very exciting matchup florida right. versus georgia right like yeah. depth that just increases their depth I mean, you yeah. have McGahee, you have or like uh, Luca mm-hmm. and Sates, like that. And then I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know the like many other other swimmers because mm-hmm. I haven't followed the SEC too much. But like, that's going to be super exciting relay end and on the individuals. Yeah, I mean, Sates is scoring fifty plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. he's got relays too. Like that. Yep. That picks your team up a pretty good amount. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. George is a player now. Uh, we got the women's 400 free. Okay. Shabon. Yeah. I think the story is Shabon. 100%. Fresh off the 200 free world record. And, uh, I mean, she just rocked it all season. She won the 100 free too, didn't she? Oh, she yes, won the 100 she did. Free. She yep, did, yeah. She won the 100 free. That would be something for someone to win the 100 free and the 400 free. That would be, that'd be big time. Well, she won the ISL title what a couple weeks ago. She went three fifty eight. Yeah. Who was who was trying to get her? Hallie Flickinger. Yeah, I yeah. think Hallie went like three fifty nine. That was that was a really good race. Um, yeah, it came down last fifty. Yeah. I, this, what's this interesting though about the ISL four hundred freeze is I don't think like all of those times are really indicative of their best because the jack the check mark plays in like they can't be out too slow, right? Like, because if you're, the, there's a there's a 100 meter check mark, right? So if you're oh, out too slow, yeah. you're going to get jackpotted by first place. I mean, the first place person can out. take your points. So that's where it's it's pretty interesting. I, Wait, I'm not to, up on this. How does this work? So there's- Oh yeah, it's there's nuts, right? It was only this year that started, rules. yeah. Yep, so the there's, for the 400 free and the 400 IM, there's check mark rules. So the 400 free is the 100 check mark and the 400 IM is the 200 check mark. And they set times where, um, for example, if I go out like 48 and the hundred for the first hundred, that's like, I think two, I think it's like three point something, maybe four seconds. Um, and uh, whoever is slower than 51, five, I get all their points at the check mark. So I could technically take like, I think, I think the number is 18 points. I'm not, I didn't do, I, I didn't even follow too much just by check marking the rest of the field and jackpotting them there. So that's what so you ha- you can't be too slow going out, but you, that's why everyone's pretty quick. That's why we saw some hand touches here and there. Um, mm. So I don't I don't think we saw the best four in the freeze because of that. 
Mm. A lot of the four and a four times so, were ranging three thirty eight to three forty five, like three forty four, three forty five all season. And I mean, the world record is three thirty three, and I think we'll, we'll see some pretty good ones here. But yeah, this still confuses Actually, me. So, so so we so we race the four free. You go out forty eight. Yep. I go out fifty two. Even if I beat I take, you to the four hundred, you get my points. Yes. Yep. Yep. So here's here's the the other interesting part. <laughs> if you beat me to the four hundred, but you jackpot me overall. Then you take my jackpot. Jackpot. Oh my god! <laughs> so what's the yeah. point? What are we doing, man? <laughs> yeah, so, it's confusing. Well, the point is, you get, you got to go yeah. out quick and to yeah, hold on. Yeah. So, for example, my teammate Fernando. You actually, Josh, you know Fernando Chef, right? Yeah, the chef. So the chef. he would go out. He would go out <laughs> forty nine, and we would take. He took like probably third, third or fourth place down points, right? And then he could hold on with Martin this year. And he would make like a 21 point swing in the whole event because okay, he, he got can it. hold on well. He's got the good endurance. And I mean, he's a tuner free guy, so he knows pain. So he just kept <laughs> <Yes>. going. <laughs> well, listen, guys, I said this at the Olympics. I just don't ever give the Chinese enough credit because I don't know anything about them. But here's this girl out here in uh, lane four, just, just shredding the field right now. And um, I just. She, I just she won the 800 last night. Yeah. yeah. 802 something. Killed it. She, um, I think when she was like 15, she started hitting it, hitting the scene hard. And then she had she a couple of the years. She was one of the big stars in she, Hangzhou. These were like the loudest cheers. Bit. Right. And um, it, she she looks great. She's back again. How is, uh, I forget if she won anything in Hangzhou. Too. She might have won the 1500 out there. She is dominating this race now. Going in, Going into the 250. She is a 1.2 seconds in front of Summer McIntosh and a second and a half in front of Shabon Hahi. Oh, dang. It's funny because she looks like she got a real short stroke up front, but uh, she keeps those legs running the whole time. I hate how she pulls with her top arm off the wall. Oh. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. I just I saw it too. And that's a big breath. Uh, I understand it's like not, I mean, it's fine for some people. It just looks s slow. <laughs> like you're using the top arm and you're breathing at the same time coming off the wall where you have the most velocity and you're just, I don't, I just can't believe it's faster, but maybe it is. Let's watch here. Watch here. Boom. Yeah, so she pulls top right hand, bang, breathe. Yeah. Yeah. Breathe at the same time. Hey, maybe, it, maybe, it, maybe it's faster for her. For a 400, I guess. Yeah, 400. She ain't gonna lose this. Shabon is not gonna. She's nowhere no, near. No. Nobody is. <clears throat> Summer yeah. McIntosh with a with a pretty good swim here, though. She's gonna win second. It looks like. Shabon's come. Well, yeah, she she's in third. The legs. Yeah, she might not have the legs. Mm, game over. That's a that's a good swim. Actually, that's a good win. Time is legit too. It's a great swim. Wow. Ooh. Very legit. Dang. Got to get her on. The Siobhan. Second? Could, no, third. could be tough. Hmm. Yeah, she creamed that one, didn't she? Couple seconds. We got um. We can we can get a. We can get a translator. translator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chinese translator. Yeah. Dang, that's a really ask. good time. Yeah, it's a good swim. Three fifty-five. It's legit. Yeah. Well split. I mean, she's not. That, I mean, it's not that far off that world record, too. No, about a second and a half. Who has the world record? That is, Ariane. Um, oh, Titmus has that. Nine. Wow. From the last nine. world championships. Oh. Dang. Okay. This is just under two seconds. Yeah. Pretty good swim for Paige. I think that's, that's the first a great time swim for Paige. Four. I think. Yeah, first time under four there. Hmm. Summer McIntosh, 15 years old, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And That's she's great. huge for the Toronto Titans this year. Like, mm -hmm. they just like, it's She's 15. She still has that, like, little kid energy. And I'm not saying this is like a little kid, but it's like that energy. It's like, well, do one race. Okay, get back up and do another race. It's used from like two fly, four I am on the second day of the meet, and I'm like, oh my gosh, be cooked <laughs> after the two fly, you know? <laughs> cooked off the hundred fly. Yeah, that's it. 
Here we go, Nate. Look at this. Look at this. We have a Chinese translator in the uh, in the audience. Perfect. Yeah. You um, get her on the pod. Somebody else. Um, Helen Yi. Helen Yi. Helen Yi could do it. Yeah. Call oh, Helen Yi up. Could you yeah. translate for us? What's great she is she knows she had, she actually understands swimming. She yeah. actually told me she she would translate for us. Yeah, I forgot about that. You guys know who Helen Yi is? Mm -hmm. No. She's a MMA um, journalist. She's oh. at all the big fights, but uh, she swims as well. She's trying to make the uh, Olympic trials in twenty four, and um, so she's she's training on the side. But she's an MMA journalist. Yeah. Didn't you have her on the show at some point? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's right. Okay, I remember hearing that one. Talked about her story. She was at the fight. She was at the. Uh, I guess she was at the Jake Paul fight last night. You guys watched that? Jake Paul, Tyron no, Woodley. No. Just saw the result. I ain't paying sixty bucks for that. No, nah, I wasn't paying. I was. I paid the first time. Yeah, I'm not paying the second time. But he knocked him out clean. Woo! Yeah, that was good. It was just I didn't. Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley's not a boxer though, so it's just like very poor defense to like pull your hand down and have mm -hmm. an overhand right and just get knocked out. Like, cause I don't think, I think Jake Paul's respect. He can be respected, but like it could go up against like Canelo or even, uh, what's it? The, there's the, the belt, like, um, uh, the Ukrainian boxer that just took the heavyweight division. He moved oh, yeah. up from cruiserweight. Yeah. Um, like he's like, those are legit fighters. So he's got, a, he's got a bit to go. But I mean, I'd say for the work that he's done in the year, it's good. Yeah, I just like the I just like the fact that they they put the time and energy into it, man. They work hard. If you look at their yeah. um, their camps, these guys work hard. They they're not just yeah. jokers, but they're intelligent as well in in terms of the way they promote their fights and um, smart kids. But uh, they can fight for sure. That was a clean yeah. right hand. This is uh, your event, Brett. Fifty free. This is it, man. This is it. Uh, ben yeah, Proud. Yeah, some predictions. You going with with Big Ben Proud? I'm absolutely going with Ben Proud. Yeah. Where, where's that photo? Let me find this photo. That um, did you see that photo they put of him the other day? No, but he scratched oh. the fifty fly just to focus on this. Wow. He's got his hand <clears throat> pulled. Uh, Ryan Held is swimming the best he's swum in twelve or eighteen months. Josh oh, Leandro really is breaking good. every Canadian record every time he jumps in the pool. Tom DeBoer is still in there. So yeah. it's, um, we'll see. Uh, Canadian kid's the only one born in the 2000s. That's quite funny. Yeah, he's real good. Relatively old field. <laughs> he's excellent. That kid. I can't find the exact photo of him the other day, but um, something like this. Let's have a look. Maxime, like, look at this kid. Okay, I, just... I, trust, I swam next to him in the final, right? And Dude. I weighed like probably 10 to 12 kilos lighter than him. Now, obviously, I'm going to get thrown around in the 50 free. Like, he's, I'm in lane seven. He's in lane six. He has pretty much an open lane to do whatever he wants because <laughs> I'm like, I'm 25 pounds lighter than him. So. Does it make you think you want to hit the gym and get jacked? Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but then, uh, my, then my mind's like, okay, uh, I'll see you long course. <laughs> do, the, do, well, the, do the do the hundred free long course. We'll, we'll talk about it then. Dirty. He's twenty one one long course. That guy's a freak. Yeah. Yeah. You you know how yeah. most people will like swim nine or ten times a week and lift three times, maybe four. In, <laughs> yeah. In in World Cup yeah. twenty sixteen, he was like, yeah, I'm lifting nine times a week right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> getting insane. absolutely ripped. Yeah, I can tell. I, I heard for a stretch he had like singles, right? And he was just doing 500 yards a day. Yeah. I'm like, that's that's the life. A little bit of that's technique, the, that's the a dream. little bit of twitch, some 12 and a half sprints, and you're out. <laughs> yeah, what you got to wow. do is to figure out that strength into the pool, man. And if that's all it takes, <laughs> that's all it takes. Yeah. I wish yeah, it was you're, that easy. You're talking about a, a pre no comeback. I mean, that's that's what there it is. There you go. That sounds like a perfect plan. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine seeing Josh just jacked up behind the blocks. <laughs> like, what happened to Josh? Six feet tall, six feet wide. Someone drug test this kid. Uh, Josh, you'll be, uh, you'll be our Felipe. <laughs> God, I would we'll love that. Like, put you like 25, 30 pounds on you and boom. We'll yeah. give you a spray tan, spray tan while you're at it. <laughs> Austin, son. 
No, nah, we had uh, we had Ben Proud on the podcast. I, I interviewed him over at the ISL finals. I, I was there and uh, sat with him, and he gave a great interview in terms of his awesome training. Awesome interview. Yeah, if you All want to listen stuff to his about training. visualizing stuff and manifesting your own destiny, and mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. was it was awesome. Mm-hmm. What did you take Max- away from his his training comments? Uh listen, it's it's not what you said. I mean, he's he's training obviously. Um, harder than than just a 500 and some 15s he's doing more than that but but what he does do well is that he he's doing a lot of uh longer slow technical swimming everything he does is technical he doesn't take a bad stroke ever Mm. and so he he's he's taking uh he's doing longer technical swims and then he's doing short powerful um you know sprints but look we all know this the the winner of a 50 is the guy that can close from 35 to 50 you know like anyone can really get to the 15 25 with power and strength and speed but you got to close that race you're not going 21 one long course and maybe today you're not going 20.3 short course if you can't close this race so uh unless you're doing some sort of um speed endurance of some sort then you just you just can't close the race off a bunch of 15s it's just not sprint swimming you can't do it but so he's doing the work for sure um but it, but it's very refined to what he needs and and uh how it applies to his race ultimately that's what it comes down to yeah yeah i really like that um that like mental game of like never taking a bad stroke of freestyle like that was a really interesting thing that nathan did mm-hmm. um like if he came into the wall after a really hard effort and then pushed off to go easy um, he would always swim backstroke. Like he would right. never go like slow, sloppy freestyle. Right. Yep. Yeah. I get the same philosophy, man. I, I agree with that a hundred percent. Yeah. And, and we do that with Bruno now, actually. Uh, Bruno has gone into a phase of power and strength a lot, like what, what Ben would be doing. Um, coming off his win at the U S open, he went 22, two, I think. So it was just, just an, a nothing swim, but, uh, we got to start swimming 21s again. And the way to do it is mm-hmm. basically what we're talking about here is just, Swimming, beautiful swimming, a lot of power, a lot of strength, a um, lot of speed. And uh, we've, we've gone into that phase now, which I'm pretty excited about. So we're, we're going to go to the Tennessee. I think it's a Tennessee. What, what's that? What do they call these things? The Tier Pro Swim Classic. Series? Yeah, Pro Series. Yeah. Are you going to do that, Maxime? Not the first one. Uh, I'm just getting back into training and I won't be ready. So okay. I think I might be going to the Des Moines and then um, definitely probably the local San Antonio one, which is like early March. So who who coaches you directly? Who's 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 over your program? I'm with Eddie and Wyatt, both of them. Uh, some days they some days they take a different group, so it, it it changes. Are you okay going back and forth between the two? Yeah, for the most part. And I mean, what'll be interesting? Uh, I'll say this. I'll say 16 week stretch is there's going to be a, a phase where they're preparing for big 12s a phase where they're preparing for american shore course and ncaa's and then they have to build back up and get back down for short course world i mean uh, world champ trials so i mean i've set a i've set a plan with them about what i'm ready to do um because when they're gone i have to have my own game plan mm. um so i mean we're in alignment I, I feel prepared with them and i mean that's just like the pro life now being attached to a college team you have to work around what their schedule is so, you gonna do like a trip anywhere or just rip it by yourself? Um, I'm not sure yet. I might take a trip. Uh, but even then I, I kinda wanna stay settled, especially because the fall was I was like a month and a a month out in August, September, all of November gone. So it's just nice to stay steady stay like one spot for a little bit. For sure. How do you guys feel? I had I had this conversation with Tim Hinchy before we get into this fifty free real quick. Um I had this conversation with Tim Hinchy the uh, CEO of uh, USC Swimming basically talking about this problem here that I think it's a problem where, you know, you got these pro athletes in these college programs and the college coaches are obviously being paid to, to do uh, what they're paid to do and they, they disappear for their job for extended periods of time and you're left with these pro athletes just uh, sitting around not fully being coached appropriately. And my idea is to get USA Swimming to have some professional hubs you know, where you have a, a pro team and you have a pro coach and USA Swimming funds it. And, it. and it could just be for American athletes if that's the way they want it. But, um, you know, there's got to be some solution for pros moving forward other than just, oh, well, Eddie's off for three weeks. I'll, I'll look after myself. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not a knock yeah. on Eddie or anybody else, Dave, Dave Durden, anybody. But 
you got the system, you know yeah. these elite athletes like you two you know and uh yeah well, i mean i also so i watched part of that interview and i, I agree with the global swimming calendar i think that's hmm. such a good con i mean yeah that's <clears throat> basketball has that concept like he said soccer has that concept into play where you can have a time where you represent your country and then you have a time where you represent your like your team right, right? Uh, and so totally <clears throat> all right um, let's talk about it more in a second hang on we're on the blocks here this is the the, yeah, the greatest it, race of the yeah, championship race race. let's see <laughs> all very quiet no thinking no thinking i'm going ryan held baby held looks good i'll tell you that he looks sharp i don't he think i've ever good. seen someone as powerful as him like in real life oh Watch damn oh oh we league. got a oh Power. we got a race oh but there we go see class class wow. right, you see what i said about the 35 to to, to yeah. 50 yeah 35 oh, to wow. 50 that's where it's won. Get it, mm. I mean, yeah, good call. Mm. You pulled away so far. Yeah, you, oh you don't get gosh. you don't get that doing fifteens, guys. You don't. So he he's doing more than that. Yeah. Ben Proud one. Yeah. Ryan yeah. Hill two. Point, Josh Lando three. Twenty point seven zero. Twenty point seven six. That's that's tight. Yeah. Yeah, Ben. That's, he just uh, has an acceleration, like you said, Brett, from about that that last 10, 15 meters. No one matches him. That. I mean, well, he like holds his length. He right. holds his length. He holds his power. The other guys get short there. You know, if you if yeah. you really and maybe even there, like held gets a little slappy, gets short. You can see him kind of just <clears throat> pulling. He's trying to pull too hard. And and Ben just stays in his his technique. Held actually stuck with him really well on the start. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big time. Uh, oh, the little kid, the, the young kid, not little, young kid Canadian, from uh, yeah. Canadian, Canada. He just broke the record again, I think. Josh Leander. His, yeah, I think wow. he just went like three personal bests, prelims, semis, finals. Dang. I think he went 20.9, 20.8, 20 20.7. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's about right. Like that's about what Ben went in uh, the final. I think he was like twenty point four. Yeah, one. he won twenty point four. Yep. Yeah. Um. So that's super. That's super good. Super good. Right on it. Yeah. Good for him. Good swimming there. Ryan Held. Good job. Yeah, I think that's another PB for him too, which is good. The other thing that Ben was talking about in the in the podcast episode was how focused he is long course. He's in, in the long course mentality that he has. How he actually hates doing turns and and short courses like different for a, a really a really different for him. How he really likes to snorkel so he doesn't have to breathe. <laughs> he just likes swimming fast and straight with no breathing and no turns. He's got the Mizuno on. Is that a sunny influence there? He's wearing the Mizuno. Could be. Sunny's got it in his ear. <laughs> <laughs> um, Josh, let me. I want your thoughts on this. What's what's your thoughts on the on pro programs? Yeah, I think it's um, it's probably a good thing to have in general. Like, I honestly had a great situation at at Berkeley. Like, even even when when Dave and Yuri or Dave and Chase were gone, um, like we always had a, a training plan. Like, a common thing for us to do was like we would take us and our volunteer assistant, and we'd go out to the Olympic Training Center, and like mm -hmm. maybe like um, the head coach, the assistant coach would pop in for like a couple days at a time just to check in. But, you know, we were always we were always covered super well. Mm -hmm. um, that said, like, yeah, if we want this sport to progress, if we want it to to become like a true, you know, professional thing, then, yeah, mm -hmm. having those centers would be good. And mm -hmm. I know that they've, they've tried this before with like the centers of excellence or whatever. Right. Um, I don't know what like the exact right format to do it is, but I think it's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you you did have a good situation, but I just don't think that, that there's that type of deal across the country. So, yeah, I mean, and it puts it puts a lot of stress on these college coaches, man. I got to tell you, you know, like a Dave Durden and a and an Eddie Eddie, you know, Eddie's got a system, I guess now. Uh, but you know, some of these other coaches just, you know, it puts a lot of stress on them. Look, and I talked about Anthony Nesty in this one, and it wasn't a pick on Nesty in any way. I mean, he's quite quite a capable coach, but Look at the look at the stress that that man's under right now. He's got Ledecky. He's got Dressel, right? 
Then he's got all those other pros around them. And then he's got the women's team and the men's team. I mean, come on. That's a, that's a lot of work, guys. I got to tell you. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's definitely a lot to manage. All right, guys, I'm going to hop off. Thank yeah, you. Man. Thanks for having me on. This is fun. Good to see you, Love Josh. 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 Next team. Hit me up. For sure, yeah. bro. Good to see good you. To get- Cisco's get together. <laughs> Absolutely. See you guys. Yeah. Cool. See you, man. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Good dude. Yeah, he looks happy. He looks he looks happier. I'm happy to see him happy. Yeah. I uh, also very interesting about the pro comment because this is something like I talked with. Uh, I mean, Brett, you know, and Ben Lee and mm-hmm. uh, Lenny mm-hmm. is. I mean, ultimately, the goal for the ISL would be to set those swimming hubs up, yeah. where we're all training together. We have a pro coach, and that way, uh, I would say, uh, obviously, we centralize one location um we can tr- like travel train there travel out together as a team um get on the same page really get specific with what we need um and also that's what feeds the pros but i think that's again like we talked about we're three years in this is, is going to be a long slow undertaking it's a process and it's going to improve in time yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to have a, a pro set up, you know, for these ISL teams. That would be outstanding. What are we watching here? Are you guys watching the, the Hanson girls like click heels together? Click talking. Oh. oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Maxime can't see it, man. He missed out. That was classic. Yeah. Classic well, about TikTok videos there. Swedish. Uh, what are we on? Where are we at? We got the, I think we're on a. Victory Woman's ceremony. Back or 50 yeah. back coming up. 50 back. Oh, okay. There we are. All right. We've still got a few events to go. I mean, it's a long morning. 50 back. Hmm. Where is... um? Where, oh, there he is. Yeah. Shane Cassis. Lane oh, two. semi-final. Okay. Right. Okay. I got you. Semi-finals. Shane Cassis, yeah. Okay. What's uh what's happening for the rest of the day, Maxine? What are you up to? Um, going to church after this and then just spend some time with my family. My brother, uh my youngest brother just got in yesterday. So um for the holidays? my middle brother. Yeah, just for the holidays. So it's gonna cool. be cool, probably family lunch and then uh just chill with the doggo, maybe just hang out. Yeah. Does you, does your family live in Austin? Yeah, so my family, uh my mom and dad just moved last year. Um okay interesting during the pandemic um they moved and uh they're about 20 minutes north of me right now so it's nice um just having that close whenever i feel like uh want a homemade meal i just text my mama so yeah. very nice jared what are you up to after this uh doing a bit of uh work for the the, the business and then just hanging out we're gonna go watch uh wife and i are gonna go watch spider-man later because oh, i'm a huge marvel yeah. nerd so i yeah. can't I can't wait any longer to watch it. I don't want to see any spoilers. Um, the yeah. build-up's been ridiculous, so I'm like chomping at the bit to go watch that. So we're going to go do that later and then just hang out for the rest of the evening pretty much. Yeah. I heard uh, I, I heard it's good for sure, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I want to watch it too. I just want to go to the theater. I'm like dying to go to a theater like in, and see a movie in a theater. Yeah. It's been so many years, you know? Well, yeah. you're so busy now with all those kids running around and <laughs> oh man, I know. <laughs> Don't I know? Yeah, pancakes after this, I think that's what I'm doing. There you go. Look, look at that text right there. Hang on a sec. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, we haven't had Shabon yet, so she, yeah. she seems to have won a couple times. Yeah, Shabon's uh, with Louise Hansen. Haven't had her on, but uh, yeah, Ben, ben Proud. Anastasia Gorbanko. Mm-hmm. They just won titles. There's a trend, yeah. Who would you, uh, if if you could have, um, I know you don't know all of our guests, but if if you could imagine somebody that you think we haven't had, guys, Jared and Maxime, give us some idea for 2022. Who's kind of like a, a dream podcast that we could mm-hmm. go after? You done Chad? I don't remember. Chad, uh, yeah, yeah I've done Chad. On, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. You got lucky there, got Chad. That was good. Um, he's fun. My problem with Chad, though, is like he's such a nice guy, and I know he's super competitive, and 
he doesn't give all that away sometimes, you know? Like, uh, oh, yeah, he's, no. he's just so polite, so nice. But then, like, you talk to him privately. He's a competitive guy, man. I love that, you know? So, oh, yeah. Love to, love to see a little bit more of that. But, yeah, he always invites me, Tom. It's like, oh, we're going to go play poker? Oh, there's a yeah. casino over there. Like, Let's go play poker. Let's go play poker. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dude, I race against you tomorrow. I'm not going to play poker today. <laughs> that's just him being competitive man he wants to take yeah. your money before he takes your money you know yeah yeah <laughs> uh, yep. uh, jared can you think of anyone we haven't had um i mean you haven't had caleb on right he is he very difficult to get hold of yeah get maxime his, come yeah. on man How, give me the hook up with caleb i mean we've talked back and forth yeah <laughs> uh i mean do you have his number I do, yeah. We text each other and we talk actually. And he said he said he would come on after the ISL final. I haven't I haven't hit him up again, but um maybe twenty twenty two is the year. We'll we'll get him, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to think. Um, another another good I mean, this is a personal one, but another good one would be Matt Sates' coach, uh Wayne Ridden. Right, I heard, yeah. He's, I heard. Yeah, he's been coaching for like forty five years, but he's like anyone you can pretty much name, he's had something to do with their success in South African swimming too. Whether right. it's managing them, club team, um, right. all that kind of stuff. So he'll be a very good one to have on for a, a good podcast too. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Kira Toussaint. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. I'd like to get Kira. Yeah. Okay, let's get after her. Let's get. Do you have a uh, McKeon? Yeah. Emma McKeon. Yeah, I had Emma McKeon like a a year ago before she kind of okay, like gotcha. blew blew up. You know. Yeah. Yep, she was good. I watched. Yeah, I watched the. The Ball. Australian coaches, Michael Ball. No. That's a good one. Got to get Tom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Michael Ball was good. Um, who we, Leah. We, Have we had Aaliyah on yet? I can no, see. no, no. I actually talked to her at the uh, ISL finals. I saw her on the deck and I was like, hey, would you come on? She said, yeah, so we'll, we'll get her. Sweet, yeah. That'll be interesting. She got a lot to talk about now. Alan Bernard, I've tried Alan. Uh, he said he would. He, the English issue for him was a problem. I wasn't super comfortable, but he said he would consider it in the future. All the people you, that come on that don't speak English as a first language that say like, "Oh, I'm so scared," they turn out to have fine English. They're yeah. just uncomfortable, yeah. but I think they're great. Uh, did you Shane Cassis? No, or did you just no, speak Jason. No, I need, yeah, I just did Jason. I got to do Cassis. Yeah, get him on there. Biederman is a Be, Biederman's a hard no. Oh, there we go. Sorry, Biederman's a hard no. I've I've, I've been pestering yeah, him, and yeah. he's like, "Leave me alone. I'm not doing it." So yeah, which is interesting. He's out. Good Carson try, Foster. Cameron Vandenberg too. I mean, I know he's not swimming, but he no, might I've be hard to get I think I have. I, I we've talked back and forth. Cameron, mm -hmm. I know you watch the program. Come on, man. I don't know if he does, but um, I've tried Cameron. I'd like Carson's to been on a couple of live shows. He's been yeah. he's he's been on a few times. Yeah. All right, here we go. We got uh the next uh, well there's the semifinal, I guess. Back. 50 back. Woman 50 back. Yeah. Louise Hansen, Kira Tucson. There's one, Louise Hansen. We could get her on. Oh man, she's she Kylie, uh, 55 Kylie Moss. Kylie Moss, yeah, that'd be a good one. Uh, Kayla Sanchez, another good one. I'd like to yeah. get her. She actually said she would come on, Kayla. So, 2022, a lot of people out there. <laughs> a lot of yeah. weeks, man. 52 weeks. <laughs> it's in, it's just impossible to run out. Who's yeah. this shredding this race? That is Louise Hansen. That's who we just talked about. We've got to get her on the show. She's killing it. You're putting the man. good vibes out there for these people, man. They start talking about everyone. She's having a meet, hey? Always. Yes, big meat. Oh, she crushed that one. Nice. Yeah, too easy. 25 8. Well, she's already got one individual championship title, championship title in the 100 backstroke. She's obviously going to be in the mix here for the 50 backstroke. She broke a world record on a relay. Um, it's yeah, been she's a pretty good week for the uh, the Swedes. Yeah, I don't even know where she's training in terms of her. I know she's in England. I don't know who she's training with. I think she's Who's coaching. Uh, she's at the uh, Longborough. Loughborough. 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 Ah, Loughborough. Yeah. yeah. Loughborough. Yeah. Okay. Who's at Loughborough? Who's coaching her? Anyone in the comments section? Who's the head coach at Loughborough? I saw someone commented with the Phelps question mark as a uh, as a guest. There you go. Yeah, Phelps. I don't have enough money to pay him. 
It's a tough one. No, uh, he'll come on sometime. We'll get them all. It just takes time sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to get them on the number one swimming podcast, right? Right. Maggie McNeil, she's been on, man. That was a good one. We got her early, Yeah, actually, too. That, that interview um, after the Olympics, I mean, like 10,000 people watched that. Wow. In a day after she won gold. After the Olympics, yeah. It was yeah, insane. Blew up. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Second semifinal. Oh, the Irish girl, Danielle. The Irish have been having a great meet. We'll see in the 100 breasts later, too, the Rona McSherry in that one of the top seeds, too. Hey, there, there, there you go, Brett. There's an Australian the there for you. The lone Aussie. The lone. Czech Republic. I feel like this. I feel like Sweden's got a, a stockpile of women, elite women swimmers, but on the men's side, it's just not. They've been going through a a, a bit of a drought. I don't think they have, have had a medal since Lars. Probably, I'm yeah. That's somebody else we tried to get on, didn't we? No, I used to race a guy. Um, who's the guy that I raced who was freaking uh, incredible? Swedish kid. What's his name? Um, God, why have I drawn blank? Uh, someone in the comments section. Who did I used to race? Swedish. He was Stefan. Stefan Nistrand. Oh, yeah. With Stephen. the beer with a little goatee. Yeah, yeah Stefan. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he was legit, Stefan. forgot about him. Hmm uh mel marshall she's been on she was outstanding oh that's the best podcast they i mean if you're a swim coach and you haven't listened to that one you got to listen to that one like five times knee strand yep a couple of people picking knee strand there thank you thanks for the help okay kyle chalmers is not swimming in this meet bo two no, he just had just had surgery go to his instagram Shoulder injury yeah Oh, wow. Lane 8, Ali she comes Moss, up. Maggie McNeil. Have a look at Lane 8's start. She comes out of the water. Julie Danny Jensen Stormer. from Denmark. And just crushed everybody. So that might be the way to go. Pull up. Whoa. Whoa. She does look really good. Kylie Moss, yeah, that's the one. I've got to get her on. She's just consistent. Always. She's like she's been on like so Megan many McNeil videos. looking good. Yeah, the Canadians won too. Nice. Moss McNeil. Kylie Moss. Yeah, have you gotten Townley? No. No, we haven't. Um, yeah, we should. I was, gonna, I was just thinking about my teammate. I was like, Townley and Will. Will, Will you just won. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I've tried to get Will on. I'm trying to get Will on. Actually, we did we get can, Will no, on. No, we did get Will on. Okay. We, didn't, yeah, we, we never released it. We never released it. So here's what we did with Will, right? We did Will like a couple of weeks after the Olympic trials. Maybe not even. Maybe a week. Yeah, maybe a week. It, it was, was like a week. Fresh. And I asked him some questions that I just didn't, I didn't like my questioning. I put him on the spot a little bit about missing the Olympic team. I just, I didn't like it. And so I never released it. Cause he was scared. I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> I wanted to release it. It was just, you know, it was, it was, it was raw. It was fresh. It was just, wasn't the right time. You know, it was like, it was, it was inappropriate. You know, I'm not going to yeah. put something out. Yeah. But maybe you should add like now he's got a world championship medal around his neck. Yeah. You know? be a different, different story. I think it was good for him. Like you were asking him questions and making him think about things that he hadn't really thought about yet. You know, that's true. And giving him advice. Like, Hey, this is, you know, putting, you should put everything out on a piece of paper, everything, anything you can think of, put it out, put it on there. Yeah. 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 It was just raw. It was very raw. You know, he had, he hadn't had time to process not making the team. Oh, this is a, um, Oh, that's an interesting one. Frank that's a great. Mm. 
Uh, Nick Fink is one we got to get. Yeah, I just yeah, uh, that'd be a good one. Actually, I think we have we had anyone from the University of Georgia. I was thinking like Nally Hines. Well, she didn't go to Georgia. She went to Florida, then trained to Georgia. But Smogs, and then um, we haven't had anyone. And, and there's so many. Retired. We haven't even had like a legend from Georgia. Listen, I was the head coach at Auburn, right? <laughs> and Auburn, 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 Georgia. I'm okay with it, but there's just there's just stuff there. You know what I mean? It's like well, that's just, why there's stuff there. There's rivalry. You know, it's like it's. I don't want to come on with the head coach of Auburn, like. Oh come on. Well, you got um, Ozzy on there, and he was already at Alabama when you got him on, didn't he? Well, Ozzy and I were roommates. I taught yeah, that guy how to true, speak that's... English. That guy spoke no English when I met him, okay? He owes, he me. owes me. He owes me. <laughs> <laughs> Sato, yeah. Uh, Chase. I've been I've been chasing Chase. We, we've been he, – yeah, he's one of those guys that still stuck on the rivalry, you know. Got to get over it. Okay, Sato. Yes, Sato. I, I I actually did a Facetime with Sato like uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, him and I were chatting with Coley Stickles, just, and he said he wants to come on. He's he's got a translator that can do it for him, so he he'll come on. Wait, Brett, where are you right now? Like, what uh, what state are you in? I'm in Delaware, man. Delaware. Gotcha. Yeah. I was curious because, uh, <clears throat> like, Sato's doing the uh, all around the U.S. trip. So I was wondering if he was taking a train trip down to SoCal, if you were still there. No. Yeah. So. No. I think ultimately he wants to train with, with um, Coley. I think. Yeah. Um, that's the plan. I think Coley's got some plans to start up a pro team. Well, who, he's got good. a bunch of people swimming with him, right? Barrel. Yeah. yeah so he, so Barrel he's... just won a medal. Ryan Held, right? Is he still swimming with Coley? No, nah, Held's at a... No. ASU. ASU, yeah. Oh, really? Mm hmm. It's hard um, to keep up. But yeah, it looks like uh, Coley might be starting a pro team in Texas. Oh, in Texas? Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. I'm not going to spoil the details of where, but that's kind of like the. Uh, no, that's, that's kinda, hype. Cool. Good for him. Uh, yeah. That's the down low right now. I guess if there's, if there's a place to start it, that's probably a good place to start, you know? Yeah, right in Central, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah that's pretty exciting i know yeah um men's 50 back let's go shane yep so by the way i also i was checking comparing this field to the 100 six out of the eight guys that were um in this field were in the 100 back too the only two that weren't christian diener and uh lamberti oh uh -huh. So, yeah, and Diener should have probably been it, been in the yeah. hundred, right? I mean, he, I think he just had a bad swim. Yep, he had a great eye cell. Yeah, he he was super consistent, hundred and two hundred. Oh look, Jason Kalinog on uh on the Olympic Channel here. Did you see that? Yeah, well, yeah. All the guys were watching Shane at practice, I guess. Yeah, in the weight room, streaming the race. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, that was a cool video. I'm confused as to why Shane isn't swimming his final year at A and M. I have no idea. I no he comment. said he wanted to come train with us, um, but there were right. some things that was holding him back. Um, I'm not sure if he'll start in January or if it'll be after. Um, he might start in January or might start in after World Champ Trials. Who knows? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to get him on. Maybe maybe he can tell us. Um Litherland, yeah, Litherland would be good. I actually recruited the Litherland brothers. Their father, interesting uh enough, their father was the head chef at the Auburn University. Um, you know, the the top uh conference center in Auburn, um, where all the recruits come and stay. His their their dad was the the, the head chef there interesting yeah and so they actually they actually grew up in auburn they spent some time there um interesting, yeah yeah so i tried to get them to auburn but we just couldn't afford it with the three brothers that they all wanted to go to the same place so they ended up they were living at georgia at the time and they ended up getting the hope scholarship which is a lot of people don't realize this but um the college swimming isn't fair um most people think it's fair it's not 
these guys had the hope scholarship and so they had their full tuition paid for because they they qualified for the hope scholarship so we just couldn't we couldn't match the scholarship numbers that was it they wanted to actually swim at auburn but the scholarship wouldn't allow it but they ended up happy and healthy and doing pretty good <laughs> winning some medals at the olympics <laughs> doing pretty good <laughs> actually they ended up pretty good so i don't think they regret it at all yeah speaking of um somebody that is a swim coach in the atlanta area carl krug krug called me yesterday carl krug yeah yep what yeah. about clocks yeah. yeah some pace clocks but um he was like at first i didn't i didn't put two and two together you know i was just like oh, your name's carl hello and then at the very end of the conversation he was like actually i swam for brett instead of yeah. my wife mm -hmm. i listen to your podcast every day yep good people yeah i uh we but he came down to well, he came down to orlando just recently to race a swim meet down here the um I know some now in December and he's swam the same years at Auburn that I swam at FSU. And like oh, cool. we ran into each other. I went on a trip up there when Brett was there. And he was really like, we just kind of hit it off there and have stayed sort of friends in contact since then too. So it was cool yeah. to see him coaching that really successful team in Georgia, you know, mm. I mean, not the biggest, but like definitely a really, really good team. And they just came and creamed the meat. Like they just took everything away. Oh, really? Um, yeah. yeah but he's, I mean, he's doing well. Doing very well. All right. Men's 50 backstroke here. The Same event time. you've been waiting for. Actually, I have been waiting for this one. I love all the 50s of stroke. Um, I'm going with Shane Cassis. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, these are semifinals, right? This is. Or, no, 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 no. This, this is the final. This is the big final. This is it. Make a call, Maxime. I'm gonna put money on Clement. Yeah, money's my money's on Clement. Are oh, you going for for a double world title in the same night? Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice, Jared. Who is your pick? Yeah, I'm going for Clement too. He's. Uh, I think he's just he's probably on that high right now. Yeah. Mm. He has okay. been swimming better, I think, as as the days go on. Yeah. Um, Shane has been extremely short on his walls, like turning over on his stomach so far away from the wall all he's got to do is yeah. make sure he hits this one turn and he's he's gonna get it yeah okay i'm calling right. it now just like i called the hundred all right i don't even know who this russian is who's sam samusenko that's like the other young backstroker they got he was in the wasn't he in isl too samusenko or is he doing the world cups i think he, he was doing the world, world cups okay okay world that's cups. russell's name yeah yeah I can't keep up with all these youngsters. Relaf's not in. Not swimming at this meet. Mm, yeah. Mm -mm. No Murph. Murph's out. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you're going Cassis. You're going Clement. Um, wow. This is, this is a pretty good race. I'm going to go Germany. I'm picking the German. Dina? Yeah. For no other reason other than he's just German. We haven't had a German win. Let's get some oh, German yeah. wins. <laughs> yeah, oh, German Italians. And a, yeah, of course. Like two Italians, you know, like they're all, they're everywhere. They're in every heat on men and women's side. Should be, I don't want to add up all the medals at the biggest meets for the last few years. I bet you Italy's got so many. All right, here we go. Racing. Almost. Well, that's what's so cool. Like when we had the Naples stint, like the stands were packed to capacity. That's awesome. Yeah. Part. Because like yeah. it's a swimming. I mean, at first, whenever Frederica's swimming, all everyone yeah. wants to take a picture with her. But also yeah. just everyone, they love, like the Italians love swimming. So. Speaking of Italian, we could have an Italian upset here. Italians are out quick. They're out quick. Wow. Oh no. Oh. Oh wow. Here we go. Oh, what a garbage camera angle that was. Yeah, let's all right. Show you, let's show you three dudes the the turn. Come on. Double Let world champ, picture. man. Double world champ. Look at that. Wow. 
Your German second spot. Yeah, German, second. German for second. Yeah, but uh, the Kalashnikov, hey, eh? double world champ on the same night. Good for him. Yeah. Too good. That second 25, he closed. He closed like a madman. He's quite slow off the start. Like if you watch that slow mo, he's about maybe half a half a hand behind everyone getting into the water. He does well from his breakout from yeah. from, from about the thirty five to the fifty again is where that's where you win your fifties. Just crush people like Ben Proud right there. Mm. I mean, his finish was outstanding too. Mm. Yeah, we're going to get him on the pod. With the chain, with the pink cap, yet again. Those results are not popping up. Yeah. All right, we got um, women's semis of the 100 breast and the 800 free relay. I think pancakes are calling my name, ladies. Yeah, I, th I think I'm done, guys. Is that all right? I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. I think we've seen Sounds enough. Good. Cool. Hey, guys, time, y been good a pleasure. You again, Maxime. Jared. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. Maxime, nice to meet you. Nice to meet we'll you. be back yeah. uh, tomorrow's the last day, right? Uh, Tuesday. No, Tuesday is. Never mind. All right. Oh, day tomorrow. five tomorrow. All right. Peace, guys.